What we have here is an MTD uh, snowblower with a power more engine on it and we're going to change the oil. So the first thing we'll do is uh, start it up and let it run for a while and get the oil nice and hot. Okay, ran the engine for a little while. It's, it's warm. We'll take and we'll loosen up the uh, oil dipstick there and then we will come down here and remove this plug on the end of the shaft. If it uh, the shaft starts turning, you'll have to put a pliers on there. Otherwise, it'll unscrew from the engine, and you'll have a lot of oil making a mess on there for you. Ten millimeter. I have our little bucket there to catch it, and it's probably a good idea to have a rag nearby. It's finished draining we'll go ahead and put our uh, plug back in there and we'll tighten that up just a little over snug. Next you're going to want to purchase some 5W30 motor oil and we're going to take and remove the dipstick here and fill it up with oil continually checking. I believe this one takes uh, 19 ounces but uh, every model is a little bit different and that would be in metric about 562 milliliters. We'll take the dipstick here, need to be on a level surface and we'll just dip the dipstick in there, we won't screw it down and we'll check to see our oil there and what we want is to be between these two holes here in the checkered part. Uh, you do not want to fill it over because uh, it'll the engine will be smoking and everything like that and you don't want it uh, too low as well. So I got a little bit more to add here. I'll just keep uh, checking that till it's to the correct level. Okay, this one actually took 23 ounces. I'm gonna double check here. Uh, sometimes you have to uh, flip the dipstick over to make sure it's at the correct level there. But uh, we want it uh, between the two holes, preferably towards the top hole. And as you can see, we're right at the very top there. I'll replace the dipstick here, make sure it's in there tight. And we'll properly, properly dispose of our oil, and we're all done.